We're going to learn how to draw isometric circles. Lesson one is the ellipse method. Start by drawing two lines at 30 degrees using your T-square and set-square. Set a compass to the diameter of the circle you want to draw and mark off the points on the lines as shown. From these points, use your set square again to draw up at 30 degrees to an intersecting point. Now draw a horizontal line to form the long axis and a vertical line to form the short axis. Using the intersection of the short and long axis, draw lines at 30 degrees in each direction. From the bottom of the short axis here, draw a line up to the point shown. Repeat that process on the right hand side. In the same way, from the top of the short axis here, draw a line down to the point shown. And again, repeat the process on the right hand side. To start forming the ellipse, put the point of your compass here and set the distance to the length of the yellow line. Now draw the arc connecting the points shown. Now put the point of your compass here and set to the same distance draw the arc shown. Now we're going to put the point of our compass where the yellow lines intersect. Set your compass to the distance shown and draw a radius connecting the two existing arcs. Now repeat the process on the right hand side to complete the isometric circle. If your line work is not accurate, you'll end up with arcs that don't meet each other and you'll be left with gaps like this. Now you're going to give it a go. On an A3 sheet, measure up 80 millimeters and draw a baseline. Pick a point approximately halfway along and draw a 30 degree line in both directions. Now set your compass to 120 millimeters. Use your compass to mark a point along each 30 degree line. Project up at 30 degrees from each point to form two intersecting lines. Draw in the minor vertical axis and the major horizontal axis. Project lines at 30 degrees in both directions, crossing through where the axes intersect. I'm going to use a pen here so the detail shows up better. Now join a line between the bottom of the vertical axis and the points shown. Repeat that process from the top point of the vertical short axis to the points shown. Now set your compass to the length of the red line. Use the compass to draw an arc between the two points shown. Now repeat the process with the point of the compass at the top of the short vertical axis and between the points shown. Now set your compass to the distance between the intersection of the red lines and the point shown. Draw a radius joining the two existing arcs. Complete the same process on the right hand side of the isometric circle. Now I'm going to show you how to complete this drawing of three isometric circles on three different planes. It's a good exercise to try yourself because it will help you remember the process of how to draw isometric circles. I'm not going to narrate every step so you can just watch.
And finally, you can have a go at this drawing that I'll demonstrate without narration as well.